Jill's been asking if you can come by. No orbiting Kadara. No entering the med center until you're clean. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad, it does the rest. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring.
You're not supposed to be here. Rorik sent me to find you. He wanted me to give you this cryo bracelet. Rorik? I... I don't want it. Take it away. I want nothing to do with Rorik. With any of you. You've been through a lot, haven't you? You wouldn't want to hear about it. Try me. I was dumped by scavengers. Outsiders who left me for dead. I thought I could come to Aya and feel safe with my people. Forget what happened. And now you're here. Seems like no matter where I go, I can't escape outsiders. All of you need to just go away and leave me alone. You were jumped by scavengers? On Elodin. They said they had salvage to sell. I was stupid enough to follow them. Once we were alone, they attacked. Left me for dead. Took my ship and flew off world. How did you get back? I walked. Three hours on the dunes with a few broken ribs. Rode back to Kadara with another salvager. I can't change your mind if that's how you really feel. It is. So I should tell Rorik you aren't coming back. No, don't. He'd blame himself if he knew what happened. It's your choice, but think about it. The Moshai said we should speak. You remember the Ket's arrival. One of them came to our city on a vow to offer lavish gifts. We lined up along the street to watch the alien walk with our ambassador. As it passed, it stopped and knelt in front of me. I still dream of what it said. Young one, you are meant for greatness. Now I know why my arrival had everyone on edge. When I saw you walk with Paran through our city, I hoped that the guards would kill you. I will never trust outsiders again. I said you'd want to hear my experience with the cat, to learn from it. I do. Tell me about it. They had just arrived. I was on a civilian shuttle to vault when we received a message. The spaceport was on lockdown. Security concerns due to the cat, we were supposed to land on a nearby moon and wait for the all clear. Instead of landing, the shuttle captain turned back. Something felt wrong, he said. Later we learned it was a cat transmission to isolate us for capture. The captain had saved our lives. The enemy uses confusion to take advantage of the vulnerable. Many shuttles obeyed that false order. Those people were never seen again.
The Moshai said you remember when the Ket arrived. My father's oldest friend was chosen to be Volt's ambassador to the Ket. The day he left, they embraced as brothers. All the Ket sent back was his badge and a hollow recording I wasn't allowed to watch. I was too young to understand why everyone was scared, why my father mourned for months. I can imagine how terrifying that was for a child. What frightened me was seeing how helpless my parents felt. All our leaders were confused and fearful. The terror made us hesitate. That's when the cat struck. They'll try the same with you. Be ready. Ambassador, I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I know what it's like, jumping out of the cryopod and into the fire. You've had it far worse. My condolences on your loss. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. If something's wrong, I need to know. Maybe you can help me fix it. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. Talk to the governor. She wants this to work as much as we do. I'd rather avoid that if we can resolve it ourselves. If you find time, please speak.